Matty, probably not the place you want to come uh, when you need a win, but plenty of positives maybe to take from today despite uh, the result. Yeah, they're a very good team. Uh, they're a team that's expected to, to look for promotion. Um, you know, they've got that quality on, on the pitch and sometimes you have to respect that. Um, we had to keep good shape and then it's the moments when we, when we win the ball. We're hoping for that little bit of quality to try and get in them final thirds and create chances. Now, I thought up until half time, I thought we were, you know, doing fairly well within that, but without really sort of getting many opportunities off the back of it. Um, and really true that kind of continued uh, throughout the game. It was hard to see from up there with our view, but for the second, uh, for the first goal from our position, was it an error that led to it or uh, what do you think it was? Yeah, a combination of both. Um, thought it was a foul, uh, first of all, with the push behind Cayman, whether the, the, the pass which he was trying to play to, to Sam uh, should be better, but our lads freeze then, expecting it to be a, a free kick. Um, referee doesn't blow. Ball gets flashed across, it's, uh, it comes out, great save, actually it's a save and a hit the post and then the, the rebound, uh, they're quickest on it to, uh, to give them an opportunity to, to take the lead. So massively disappointing because again, we're in a position where we had the ball, whether it's a foul or the set should be better, we should clear that and we shouldn't be in a position of conceding the goal. You mentioned John Torrance there, maybe his last game for the Rangers, we don't know about that, but fanta some fantastic saves out there for him today. Yeah, he's done that throughout since he's been here. Um, obviously, as a goalkeeper, when you make decisions and sometimes if you get them wrong, you get punished. Um, but, you know, he made a couple of important saves to keep us in the game, but unfortunately not enough. And we saw you interacting with the fans at the end of the game and word on their support today, travelling in their numbers, but do you understand their frustrations at the moment? Yeah, 100%. You know, um, I appreciate their support because that was a fantastic support here today. Um, you know, we want to give them more. Um, and I went over because, you know, I, I respect and, you know, we listen to their opinions. Um, you know, I have mine in terms of how it goes, but it's easy to, to watch and, and see it from a different angle and a different view. So I went over to ask to listen to their, their opinions. And like I say, we're all supposed to be in it together. Um, and like I say, I'm happy to go over and, and have that chat. I want to win games of football. I have to respect as well. They're a very good side and it's a difficult place to come, but we came here to win the game. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, but in football, there's a lot of games in quick succession and we have to roll our sleeves up and we have to dust ourselves down and we have to go towards Tuesday. Now, unfortunately, with the two today in the second half, it takes us to 14 goals conceded in the second half so far yeah. this season. Do you think that's down to anything in particular? Combination could be lack of concentration, tiredness. Um, you know, there's a number of things in terms of decision making. Um, and like you say, players on the pitch, you know, I'm not trying to sort of, you know, dodge that, those moments individual moments, individual battles, you know, we've got to be on top, you know, we can't be sort of, I wouldn't say wilting or anything like that, we've got to be just more switched on uh, and keep doing the right things, keep doing the simple things well. Not an easy place to come at all, but unfortunately to say as well, no shots on target. Would you have hoped to see maybe some more from us today going forward? Yeah, always, you know, uh, never going to a game not wanting to, to create opportunities to score. Um, you know, we have to be more composed, as I said to them, you know, you have to be more relaxed in a sort of sense because we're, you know, trying to high press and trying to win the ball back. When we get in them positions, you then got to relax and then concentrate on the cross. Um, I remember one, you know, where we get into a good area, Sam gets the opportunity to cross and oppose and unfortunately, you know, we put it over. So those are the moments where we have to have that composure and that calmness and pick the right pass, pick the right cross because we let teams off the hook. A stretch squad at the moment as well, it must be said, with plenty of injuries. You're not having much luck with them no. this season, are you? No, not at all. Um, you know, I, I, we can't make excuses, but the facts are the facts. Um, you know, we don't have Al, we don't have Jimmy. Um, you know, Cayman and, and Sy have just come off with, with, with no girls with their hamstrings. So I keep my fingers crossed that it's it's not too bad. Um, so it's, it's difficult, but we have to work with the squad we have. A valiant effort we saw though from the boys today and we saw Jack Massey's introduction as well. He's been signed. Can you give us the information on him and uh, about that deal? Yeah, he's a young prospect uh, from Accrington, um, a winger. He's got a bit of pace about himself, uh, wants to learn, wants to improve. Um, and hopefully we can, you know, nurture him and help him, you know, improve whilst, whilst playing with ourselves. So, you know, he's in for a month to start off with and see how he gets on and uh, hopefully he can, he can bring something to Stafford. Now that game's in the past now, moving forward to Tuesday, how important would you say that game against Hyde is then to beat a team around us in the table? Yeah, every game's a big game, isn't it? Um, home games, you want to win your home games, so nothing changes from, from that point of view. Um, we have to go in with a, a positive mindset. We have to keep doing the right things. Um, and, you know, like I say, we've just got to show that little bit of quality in and around the final third. But keep believing, keep believing, stick together. 
and uh, hopefully we turn the corner. Finally, in the relegation zone, unfortunately at the moment, I'm sure that's somewhere that you're pretty eager not to be. Yeah, that's right. No team wants to be in the relegation. We want to be pushing, we want to be higher up, we want to be, um, you know, going places. Uh, but at this moment in time, we're not. The table doesn't lie, and we've got to be better. On to the next one on Tuesday, Matt. Thanks for your time, as always. Thank you.